If you want to know a little bit about my mom, she's one of the most tender-hearted people you'll ever meet. You know, she had a, as a young girl, she wanted to raise kids. She's a boy mom. You know, she loves picking out girls' clothes and wants a granddaughter someday, but she sure did love having boys. And she was the perfect mom to have five boys. That was always my, you know, passion was to be a mom. And, you know, it's, it's the greatest gift that I have by far. Just trying to keep up with them and they're different personalities. They all have very different personalities. So that, that made it a lot of fun and uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. My mom ran boosters clubs. She helped with prom for each and every one of us. You take stats for the football team. She cooks us meal, meals before and after games. She's a coach for the volleyball team. Lots of injuries, lots of uh, hospital visits, doctor's visits, casts, you name it. We, uh, we were regulars at our, our hospital. They, they knew who we were when we came in uh, just because we visited there quite frequently. <laughs> I have memories of her, you know, teaching me every part on a horse, how to, how many hands a horse is, teaching me how to pick out horses' feet and tell me what everything's called on a horse. I used to bull ride, I used to barrel race, and my mom was behind all of that. She encouraged me to do that, and that taught me a lot of hard work, um, good work ethic and commitment and responsibility. Yes, that, that means a lot to me, because you know, when they're little, you wonder how much of that type of stuff that they're gonna remember, but they were always, you know, very grateful. And Dalton, um, you know, has, he still has that personality that it can be a very small gift and he's very excited about it. She's always writing letters. You know, there's never been a birthday that she's forgot, never been a birthday where I don't have a present. Um, never been a, a holiday, you know, Easter, Christmas, whatever it is, without getting something from my mom and dad. My mom was my biggest supporter, but at the same time, you know, my mom had no problem with telling me when I was doing something wrong, you know. She was definitely more, she was definitely more strict on, you know, kindness and grades and how you treat people than anything else, you know. If you, you knew if you treated someone badly or if you got in trouble at school or if you got a B, you know, Mama wasn't going to be happy. You know, Henri in the sense that Dalton is very hard-headed and he uh, is is stubborn. So he, you know, he he liked to have things a certain way, and um, you know, so he was, you know, but he honestly was always smiling. Like, there's very, very few pictures that I think I could even find where he isn't just always smiling from ear to ear, just a. A very happy soul. No, no, no. You know, people might tell me that I'm good to others or that I have, you know, a passion for caring for others and giving back to other people, and I got that from my mom. The thing that I'm most proud of Dalton about is his his unique love for people. It doesn't matter um, who you are and uh, where you're from, anything like that. He just he genuinely loves people and cares about them and, and their happiness. And I feel like he puts that above himself, you know, a lot of the time. I couldn't have asked for a better role model in my life, someone to look up to. My mom's always been the person that inspired me to, you know, be a good, good man off the field, be a man of God, and have a purpose other than football. He just genuinely has a, a very compassionate heart. And I, I love that about Dalton. I love you so much, Mama Bear, and I, I'm so thankful for everything you do for me, all the support, and it doesn't go unnoticed. I love her so much, and I owe her big time for sure. I'll never be able to repay her for how she raised me and what she instilled in me. Oh, very proud, very proud. It's very sweet. <laughs>